<laughs> Normally, see, I would have been sitting here setting all this up, but, um, we were doing the remote control thingy, so I wasn't here, so shut up. All right, we are running late tonight, but thank you all for showing up, and of course we are recording this, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, are you ready for probably... We have, we have heard about Naked Crazy many times, mm. but, and I guess we need to do the intro. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here, segment we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you, and oh my god, you want to talk about Naked Crazy. This guy, this fucking guy, I'm going to show you this video. This guy. Yeah, I'm I'm going to show you a video that's going to make you, you, you you're you're not going to remember this you're not going to remember anything else from tonight except what you're about to see. This comes to us from downtown Indianapolis. And let's play this video here of this guy. This is a very naked man who is blurred, thankfully. And um what he's doing here is getting to a fight with cops, getting tased and not going down for nothing. And then, just to prove he cannot be tamed, check out that flip. Check out that flip, like a boss. So what happened there? Well, pretty much exactly what happened. Video captures IMPD officers using stun gun on naked man downtown. New video surfaced this week captures officers with the Indianapolis Police Department using a stun gun in an attempt to detain a naked man downtown. The incident occurred in the early morning of May 20th. The video was just recently posted on YouTube. According to the police report, the officers would dispatch the area of Delaware Street and Massachusetts Avenue on a report of a man walking in the middle of the street and yelling at passing vehicles. When they arrived at the scene, they noticed David Martin, 27, who was in the nude, punch several people. Yeah. Right there, this is already amazing. He's naked, picking fights. This man has Maybe never... his dad was available. This man has never even seen a fuck, let alone knows how to give one. <laughs> My God. He, they, yeah, they called him... The headline I saw called him the Naked Ninja. He lives... He Which lives, I think might be a little inaccurate because he didn't seem all that stealthy. No, not that stealthy. You could see him really well because he was... Punching everyone. He, he, he lives in a world absence of fucks to give. Just none. He lives, there's none within that bubble. Yeah. And okay, they had to stun him twice. And then he even flipped away. And. Well, they said he was on synthetic marijuana. Synthetic marijuana. As if the bath salts weren't bad enough. Now you at home are going. Which is apparently called spice. Yeah, for for those of you, I who, didn't know there was such a thing as synthetic marijuana, and I don't know why there would need to be. There is, because it's not like marijuana is going extinct. Like it's not like there's a shortage. Well, it's see. Here's the difference: if you change the chemical makeup of of marijuana just slightly, it's not the same chemical, so it's not the same drug, so it's not illegal. Unfortunately, changing the chemical composition of marijuana just a little bit also alters how it interacts with the body. And like chemistry. Yeah, you Science. You end up with you end up naked running around the street picking fights and punching people. Yeah. But I got to admit that's that's just the way to do it. Just fuck it. If I'm going to be crazy, I am going to be crazy. Oh, well, that, that's a that's a good one to start us off tonight, but we've got way oh, it's more. It's usually sold at gas stations as incense. Incense. Like says bath puppet. salts. Really? Yep. Isn't that neat? What science has given to us today? Yeah. Well, this guy, this next guy, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Um, I don't know if you can read that. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can read that headline. That is an amazing headline. <laughs> Port St. Lucie man threatens to beep neighbor, but he's got to poop first. 54-year-old man... Huh? 
priorities. Exactly. And I love the the guys like Santa Claus. What the fuck is with that beard? Yeah. 54-year-old man was arrested after sheriff's investigators say he threatened to kick a neighbor's buttocks after moving his bowels. Buttocks. Oh, oh this writer, Will Greenlee. You keep showing up on my show, dude. What could be oh, called... That- yeah. What could be called the case of the post poop plan posterior pummeling played out June 17th. Uh, quote, this is what Gernot, the, the gentleman is Robert Gabriel Gernot. This is what he said. Quote, when I get done taking a poop, I'm going to kick your expletive buttocks. So you just wait here. Yeah. I'm- you stay here. I got to poop. This is even better. Uh, the neighbor was talking to the deputy. He says, I gave Gernot a beer and a cigarette, the neighbor told deputy. He started calling his mother a dirty whore. Okay. This is not... Uh, isn't it like that... Didn't we do a story about a guy who someone gave him a beer and he wanted more beer, so he decided to go back and steal it at knife point? Yeah. And then failed. Someone is giving you free beer and smokes. You've won. You're a winner at the game of life. But yeah, it's all. Who is in a fighting mood but has to go, hang on. Taco Bell. Be right back. Don't you move. You stay right here. You hear the flush. You get scared. Chalupas. I I think the Chalupas have been banned in the ultimate, ultimate fighting league actually, for that precise reason. Because people have to keep stopping fights. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. I'll finish that submission hold right after I poop. Right after I poop. Priorities. You are still a little out of sync. What the fuck, Skype? What the fuck? I don't know what's going on tonight. Like, they, like I said, now they you're told back me the, the audio got a little choppy. Um, while I was on my own, but, you know. All right. Um... So we have had dumb thieves. We have had thieves that caught themselves with technology. Facebook, quite often, they catch themselves via Facebook. But this next guy, he caught himself the old-fashioned way. Um, man suspected of... Work? What? Detective work? No. A door. The suspected thief spends night jammed under door at a Brockton Renner Center. Uh, Would be burglar spent the night trapped under a door at the Renner Center. And I got to put his picture up there because this, this is just brilliant. Look at that. He's stuck. He spent the whole night under there. Oh, John Rodriguez. I was going to say he got all fucking John locked in the hatch, but it's his head, not his leg. Nope. John Rodriguez arrived at work Tuesday and found his and found 53 year old 53 years old and doing this shit. Manuel Fernandez stuck under the loading bay door at 8:45 a.m. Fernandez told Rodriguez he had been there since around midnight. Tried to pry open the garage door with a metal bed post. As a result of trying to squeeze, he's lucky he's not dead. Result of trying to squeeze into the business, apparently the door fell onto the suspect's head, and he was unable to free himself. Okay, the first I, I'm really impressed that he that that I mean those doors are fucking heavy, like that pressure. Like I'm surprised he's not hurt or dead. And the very fact that if you can't get a crowbar, if you're using a bed post as your implement to break into a, a facility like this. Stop. Just... Well, maybe he needed to rent a crowbar. Just stop. Because this... This is not... This... Proper tools for a proper job. Use a hammer to hit a nail, use a screwdriver on a screw, use a crowbar to get into a door. Not a bedpost! There's your problem! Only bed knobs and broomsticks are magic. Bed knobs and broomsticks. <laughs> no. Angela Lansbury never transparented nobody to Magic Land with, with a bed post. post. Yeah. I he, the, the the guy does have that's that's some that's lucky as hell. However, that that the entire night and nobody fucked with him. I'm kind of impressed with that. No one came along, happened along, and saw this guy and decided we're gonna fuck with this guy. 
He wasn't I'm pantsed. Sure it's okay. Yeah. But he wasn't pantsed. He wasn't, you know, or graffitied. Out that and complained of a headache. Really? <laughs> it could have been a fatal situation if more momentum had occurred. So I guess the door came down slow enough, and that's why it didn't hurt him. I feel like him. I've got. I feel like I've got a great big weight right here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right. Well, there are a lot of initiatives out there to try to curb drunk driving. Um, there is, you know, there's the advertisements. There's the, the, I know in South Carolina, they, if they, if you drunk drive and crash a car, they'll take your crashed up car and put it in the median. So everybody can see what happens when you drive drunk. Um, Michigan has an idea to contribute to, to the pile. Um, I'm not sure it's a good one. Michigan uses talking urinal cakes. In DUI fight. What? Talking urinal cakes. Michigan is hoping to keep drunks That's off the road. That's a phrase that should not exist. No, it shouldn't, should it? Things that you pee on should not communicate with you unless you're into some kind of golden shower thing, in which case I don't judge. That's great. Fine. Do your thing. Be happy. Other than that, things other than your sexual mate that you are peeing on should not communicate with you state says uh talking urinal deodorizer cakes have been distributed throughout michigan licensed beverage association members um a recorded message will play reminding the men who step up to the urinals to call a cab or a friend if needed to get home safely okay if you are so terminator manson and then kill you if you don't you're still hung up on that terminator thing you just like surly manson changing out of a urinal so much fetish. Like but if you if you are that drunk and you're in a bathroom and the toilet starts talking to you it's not going to make you call for a ride it's going to make you freak the fuck out you're going to run into a wall or some shit you're going to make like a wily e. coyote impression on something you are going and you're going to go back out into the bar and they're going to ask you what's wrong and the toilet wants to take me home toilet take me home no Toilet man can have it. I want to go home with toilet. It smell bad. Toilet's hitting on me. Toilet's right. hitting on me. I don't know. Urinal's kind of hot. <laughs> this just Urinal's is... not your type? You some kind of fucking snob? This just does not seem like a well thought out plan to me. You have to get out of here. Your urine is haunted. <laughs> oh, it... D.A. Scott says, It would be funnier if the toilet voice did a gargling sound while talking. That would be pretty good. I don't don't drink and drive, car friend. That's wrong. Really, it like I'd be impressed if the urinal cake could test your urine for alcohol content. Wow, you're drunk. To tell you if you should call a cab or call a cab for you if your blood alcohol content is. They can do that these days. You know, put a little Bluetooth in the motherfucker. It will call a fucking cab. Right? Yeah, I've, I've, other people are saying, did you have asparagus today? Th that There's some things you don't want your urinal to know. Just, that's... There's, I don't want my urinal to know anything. No. I'm not a fan of technology being sentient. You guys know this. The robots are fucking coming. Skynet is gonna come. I don't like those Roombas. I don't like those fucking vacuums that decide when your house should be vacuumed. I don't, I don't like machines making decisions. No. And especially a, a machine that involves your genitals. No decisions. Yeah. yeah that that's no, not. I don't. I am Will Smith and I robot. I, I don't know. I don't. I do not. No, thank you, sir. I, I don't like it. Except, you know, with crotch. So, yeah, that's that's not good. Well, except, you know, I'm not a black man. Yeah. Robotic arm. No. And you don't. Or nearly charismatic as Will Smith. And I can't rap. And, but other and, than that. And exactly you don't pull like. in six billion a year. So, you know. But other than that, yeah, we're exactly, exactly alike. I get mistaken for Will Smith all the time. It's really starting to get annoying. Okay. Well, I've got another video. And this is, again, this is, this is just a great week for these videos. I, I gotta say. Because this guy. This fucking guy. Um... You've had, you ever had problems with your cell phone? Hmm? 
Ever had problems with your cell phone? Sure. And and to be more specific, <gasps> have you? Yes. I love the response. <gasps> this. Have you ever have you ever had a problem with your cell phone provider? Yes. Wouldn't you just like to go down to their store and smash the fuck out of it? I didn't. No. Apparently, I should have. Apparently, you should have. <laughs> Because that's what a guy in Manchester did. Manchester, England. Manchester, Manchester, England. Angry, I don't think I got the message right on that. No. Angry T-Mobile customer methodically destroys the store. And what you're seeing here is grabbing every fire extinguisher he can and just taking it around inside the store and spraying everything after smashing all the shelves. And that guy in the front there, that is the guy who runs the store. He's out of the fucking way saying, fuck this, I'm done. Yeah. He's just kind of keeping other people out of the store. And other than that, he's like, you know what? You do your thing, crazy guy. And he's just, wa Diamond. He's just walking around. Ah, there goes the wall, smashing shit. Uh, the and that's the weird thing, like, he's so weirdly calm about it. Like, he's not freaking the fuck out. This is not Hulk smash. This no. is like... Um, weirdly calm rampage yeah. he's just like okay this is what i'm doing here now uh the incident believed to take place on saturday was filmed by ongoing shoppers and then uploaded to youtube by a witness watches the man i love the the the, the article watches the man tears down displays and uses a fire extinguisher to vandalize the store gaze at his vandalizes public property yeah <laughs> what the fuck is this like it's like an old-timey movie barker thrills chills fire extinguishers We've got it all. And uh, just, just he's going, this is what I love. At this point, he's going, he's getting another fire extinguisher. He's busting that fucker open. Pops out the ring. Goes right back to work. Right back at it. Gives no shits. And then. Oh, the body mobile. Here's where the police show up. He says, I'm fine. I'm fine. He actually goes, I'm fine. And he is. He's just, you know, okay. So, yeah. I'm, fine. I'm just doing some shit. It's Tuesday. Um, three words, buddy. Small claims court. That's all you need. I know. I think they're probably just going to press charges. No, I'm saying for him. If you oh, get, yeah, if you, he should have done it. Yeah, if you got a problem with your phone, small claims court. The one thing they don't like having to do is hire a lawyer to come to your local fucking branch and deal with your shit. That's how the guy in, in California won the lawsuit against AT&T and the iPhone for, for the unlimited uh, data usage. Small claims court. Mm -hmm. He won. AT&T really? had to pay his ass. That's how you do this shit. You do not. You, you, you don't smash the store. What have you accomplished there? What 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 what's what benefit do you have? You are a YouTube you're gonna, superstar. You're gonna owe a lot more money. He's he's never gonna be able to go the rest of his life without someone just saying, Hey, fire extinguisher guy! You're the fire you're the fire guy. Fire So is that better or worse than vending machine guy? I don't know. It's hard to rate with all the with all the internet um with with all the uh wrong story was up. With all the internet, I don't know, infamy. All the stupid, stupid things you can do to become famous now. Yeah. Which with, is the worst. With all the internet infamy going on on the uh, on the internet, how, how do you determine what's the hierarchy? You know? I don't know. We're going to have to work at some kind of flow chart. Because, you know, there is one for nerds. Because we kind of are the authority on this. There is. There already is one. There's like, there's like, uh professional sci-fi writers and then star trek sci-fi writers no that's the geek hierarchy yeah it's not the same but it's the same kind of thing so we need to work out yes, one but we need a flow chart for this yeah you know uh yeah, the numa numa guy he's probably up, up at the top near the top the numa numa guy and then there's this guy with the fucking fire state star wars kid star wars kid you see he's, he's about the same level as Numa. yeah but all right, I have saved the worst for last. Woo! 
this is a magical story I have for you. The last story. Um. No, I have no segue. I have no fucking segue at all. There is there is no setting this up. There is no explaining this one. This one is one I have to just turn loose. There you go, kids. Here's the, here's the story. Man accused of waving machete after Orange County kindergarten graduation. Kindergarten. Really? Oh, look at this. Grad yes. A Lake Forest man who allegedly began waving a machete during a kindergarten graduation ceremony in Laguna Beach has been arrested on suspicion of exhibiting a deadly weapon, possession of drugs, and driving under the influence. Juan Vigil Portillo? Portillo? 31? Portillo. Portillo. They want all we He's younger than us? 31. That is some hard fucking living, sir. Hard living. That man is four years younger than me. Yeah. Damn, dude. Uh, he was arrested Saturday following the uh, ceremony at Annalise School, according to Lieutenant Jason Kravitz. Police say they began receiving calls around 2 p.m. and that a man pulled to the parking lot of the school as the graduation ceremony was ending. They reported he was drinking beer and acting strangely. When one of the teachers approached the man and asked him to leave, he allegedly pulled out a machete and swung it at her. There's no... Oh, sir. I realize that you're angry that they didn't let you walk in the ceremony because you were not able to tie your own shoes. I failed shoe tying in kindergarten too. It's true, I did. I understand that's frustrating to you, but the answer is not to wield a machete. You just learn how to tie your shoes and hope they let you walk next year. Yeah, and here's the thing about it. He had no kid in the ceremony. He was not part of the ceremony. What the fuck was he doing there? As far as we could tell, he just showed up randomly and said, Oh, hey, party over there with midgets, apparently. <laughs> midgets and little caps and gowns. That looks like something I want to be part of. Party over there. Um, and you they know. They probably had cupcakes. They probably did. They probably had cupcakes. He's like, you know what? I could go for a cupcake right now because I am fucked up. And, you know, he tries to to walk over and there's this, this one lady cock blocking him on the party. The bouncer. Of course he's going to get his machete because who the fuck is she? He's Juan. He's Juan Portillo. For God's sake. He is. He is 31 year old Juan Portillo. <laughs> How do you bitch and curly mohawk thing? Do you think there's ever going to be a moment of self awareness for this guy going, "Wow, I done fucked up"? Do you think as he was waving a machete around a bunch of four year olds, <laughs> screaming obscenities, and say and just and apparently he was arrested? If that's his mugshot, he came in without a shirt. So. Maybe he ripped it off all Hulk Hogan stuff. Maybe. Maybe. But if, if, it, do you think Ace. Maybe he's really bad at wielding that machete and that shirt didn't last very long. <laughs> Maybe like he tried to pull it out and he cut his shirt off by accident. Do you think any spark of insight popped into his mind as he's going, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Do you think just any brief instant of realization? Maybe he really thought what the kindergarten ceremony was missing was a fencing demonstration <laughs> with the machete. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> so what, what have we learned this glorious week? Just like a moron brings a knife to a kindergarten <laughs> <laughs> that was there that was there yes yes that that was there i do it <laughs> you, you don't yeah um yeah just just it's a good bet you see a bunch of little people caps and gowns not a midget party just saying good bet not a midget party keep back don't be that guy um we've learned that uh priorities matter in a fight because yeah you can't really you don't want 
you don't want to take a punch to the intestine when it's full. I know, man. That's it. Nobody's happy at that. Nobody. Nobody. Because, you know, you, you've been punched and the smell. is The other guy's not, not happy he did that. So, yeah. Poop first. Mm -hmm. Um, Gotta take care of business. Also, Will Greenlee. I must meet this man. Fucking Will Greenlee. We need to find that man. We should have him on the show. Sometime. Yes, we that's what I was thinking. Him. Like, so, why are you such a shit writer? <laughs> Tell us about your process. <laughs> See, now I'm not going to have him on the show because you're just going to make him sad. I'm not even going to ask him because you're just going to make the poor what, guy sad. What cracks me up is that he's named Greenlee, which I think is the really bad detective from Boondock Saints, so I always think of just Willem Dafoe abusing the shit out of Greenlee. Huge fucking guy. We've got a big fucking crusher theory <laughs> and a huge friggin' guy theory. Um, I lost an accent. I apologize for that. Uh, we, we learned that if you are going to attempt a task, proper tool, proper task, it's it's just basic stuff. That is not using your head. Oh, God, the pun, really? Really? We, we, oh, God, pun. You'll never be the head of a major corporation. Stop now. Puns, puns are a mortal sin. Oh, they are not. You go to the same level of hell. As as the people who touch puppies in inappropriate ways. Same level. Same level. I'm not wrong. I am not. Um I am I feel wrong. like there are things that I've done are, that are worse than puns, though. I feel like that's not really my gonna be my prime like when I get to St. Peter, I feel like he's not gonna look at me and be like, you know, you did all right. Except for the puns. I think I think it's going to be a little bit of a longer list than that. No, I will not tell you what they are. Um, we've learned that when you are exposing your genitals to a machine, you don't want a conversation. Just want to do your business. Little less conversation, a little more action. Yeah. You're just like, got them all lined up tonight. Yeah, that that's... that's uh, your heart's in the right place. Your head is... Some I don't know where you where you are on this one. Don't startle the drunks. No good yeah, can no. come of this. Especially no. especially when they have their dick in their hand, because how many of them are actually going to zip back up before they come running out of that bathroom? Or get the twig above the berries. You got the beans like, above the franks, son. Up. They're going to zip up real fast and real sloppy. Um, While still probably. Small claims court. We learned small claims court. Better return on your time. Less yes. police. Also, but less fame. Less fame. So, you know. And finally, finally, we learned tonight about uh, about synthetic marijuana and that this is now a thing. Yeah, and, I did not know this was a thing. And that it will turn you into a naked fighting fool. Yes. My God, that guy. Naked rampage is one of your favorite phrases in the English language. It so is. Maybe you, should, maybe you should start doing synthetic marijuana. Maybe they should brand uh, 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 some of this marijuana. They should call it naked rampage incense. So everyone will know what's going on with that stuff. That's how they should sell it. That would just make it more popular. <laughs> and it would keep me in a job. 